In terms of well-being, let's start from there. HSC is not um, like a sprint, it's a marathon. So the main thing in HSC is all about consistency. Um, your holidays also get shorter in HSC from year 11. Content gets harder as well. You get more tired. Um, and this is really just your long break before you start getting into um the future terms as well and you'll see that your assessment weightings also increase because trials typically tend to be the highest um weighted ex examination anyways um so in that case you have to be um well in terms of your time management as well as consistency so that you don't burn out at the end of the day and you also have to be realistic in terms of your HSC goals, that mean, that doesn't mean don't aim high, of course, aim high, you know, have high aspirations, but um, you just have to be realistic in terms of the time that you have um, and just overall so that you don't damage your well-being. So let's say if you didn't do well as, um, as well in the first exam or the first assessment and that has a lower weighting, you can always try changing your study routine or seeing where your weaknesses are so that, you know, you can do better in the future exams. And this has happened to me as well. Um, and that's the route that I took and that helped me get better marks than I initially thought I would. Um, and always make sure that you have goals in mind um, because without goals, it's kind of like, for me at least, it's like, I don't know where I'm going. Um, what something that I did was I wrote down all my subjects and then I put the mark that I wanted next to it just in a piece of paper and just stuck it on my um, wall in my study room. And that kind of just helped me um, be motivated in terms of the um, career or like the you know university um, admission that I wanted to achieve. Um, and again, in terms of being, in terms of goals, just make sure it's realistic as well. Um, even though I set like really high goals at the start of the year for HSC, um, over time when I saw how like hard the content was and how much it picked up, I kind of did um, adjust my goals so that, you know, I'm not like burning out at the end of the day. Um, and here is just a sample sustainable plan. Um, you know, each their own, everyone has their own um, way of studying, but I hope this plan does help. I'll just quickly go over it. You can go over it more in your own time in detail. The first thing is to always make sure you pay attention in class, but only limit it to, um, I guess, like in terms of focusing on the syllabus dot points, sometimes teachers tend to ramble um, or just go kind of off topic. So make sure you're focused only on what the syllabus is asking you. Prepare notes as you go and be consistent. Um, at the same time, for your well-being, don't just, you know, ditch activities that um, make you happy. So things such as like going out with friends or, um, you know, having a hobby. I love dance. So I never um, stopped dance during HSC just because you know it was really important so make sure you have that balance um and alongside making notes make sure you're um consistent in consolidating the knowledge that you have so that's through practice papers um or just questions and quizzes um and also make sure to take breaks throughout um you know your study routine as well as just like larger breaks especially during the holidays because holidays are also just meant to rest um and reset your mind before you go back into um school where it'll just get more and more hectic um and also make sure you have a healthy outlook on your relationships don't let um you know your relationships get damaged um because you know you're spending too much time studying and because you know your friends and your family help you um you know, be sane and also just be happy as well um, and collaborate with your friends as well if that's also something you like to do. So if group study works for you, um, you know, team up with your friends and study together if that helps. Um, and in terms of just studying, in terms of your weekly routine, um, again, each to their own. Um, the way that I did was I ensured that I did a bit of um, revision daily just to ensure, just to ensure um, 
you know, that I know what we did in class. I also wrote my notes weekly um, for the week that ended as well. And um, alongside that, I would, I would also do um, practice questions for the content that I covered in that week. So that really helped as well. Um, and if you're not going to do practice questions, um, you're going to really struggle because at the end of the day, what you're being tested on is really just um, the questions that you're doing in your own um, study. Like that's what's going to be reflected in the exam. So make sure you write notes, but also consolidate your knowledge with practice questions. Um, and in terms of doing practice papers, which I guess it's more towards when you have examinations like trials or like the actual HSE itself. Um, but whenever you're doing practice papers, make sure you mark them harshly because um, you'd rather be disappointed now than be disappointed later when you actually get your marks back. So like at the end of the day, when you get your marks back, when you get your HR and all that. Um, so don't let the HSE examiner be the one that's marking you harshly. In terms of useful resources aside from school, use a lot of your past papers from um, HSC, from other schools or your school. In terms of textbook, um, I mainly use Pearson in focus and for questions I use the ATAR notes guides, it just depends on the subject. Um, but in terms of online websites, I know Chem Libre is really good as well as Khan Academy. Um, so make sure you also check out online resources and videos if that helps you um, as well. Um, and in terms of sitting exams, which again might just be more orientated towards trials or like, for example, um, PRAC exams that you may have, there's three main factors that go into sitting a good exam. So that's good quality responses, not panicking and there's a whole lot of stuff that comes beforehand as well as time management in terms of good quality responses that only comes to practice and that's um also including things such as paying attention to hsc verbs um you know how many lines do you have what the mark allocation is like um and specifically to chemistry it's also just defining key words as well as writing down equations like you're always going to be able to write down an equation especially in a chemistry exam um, and usually it's typically a mark so you might as well just do it anyways in terms of not panicking it's also just setting the day right so you know having a good breakfast or um, sleeping early and not being late um, make sure you have all your tools um, such as you know your pens and rulers and whatever pack the night before um, and also just make sure you control your breathing as well, um, just so that you know you're calm before you start the exam. Um, one thing that also helped for me is that I would just not talk to anyone before I went to the exam because I felt like everyone would be panicking at the same time and it would I would just like absorb all that energy. So I would limit talking to literally any of my peers before I went into the exams. So that's something that helped for me. Um, and then in terms of time management, if let's say a question is really hard, um, and you're just like not getting it, skip it, move on. Um, and you know, you can always come back to it later and you'll get a different perspective on it. Um, you rather try to maximize the overall amount of marks that you're getting instead of spending time on a super difficult question and then leaving the other good questions behind.